Hi, it's Reflections again, and I'm back. It's Nancy Joy. Um, this this week, actually, I, I took something from a, a an older uh, Reflections from 2006, but um, it's from an author I just love, Paolo Cohio, C-O-E-H-O. Never know how to pronounce it. He's uh, just written a lot of great things. Um, and this one is from a book called Zahir. But listen. This is the quote this man says to a woman. A minute ago you were thanking me for bringing you with me, and now it seems to have brought you nothing but sadness. Make up your mind what you are feeling. The woman replies, I feel both things at once. I don't have to choose. I love it because, you know, our dualistic minds, since we, we separated from creator, uh, forgot who we were, and were, were split in duality, male, female, right, wrong, this, that, everything, is dualistic. We live in a dualistic world. And sometimes we think choice is about choosing one thing or the other thing, when in fact, um, choice can be integrated to take, take opposites uh, both together. As we spoke before about poles, negative and positive poles, they're opposites, but when you bring them together, you create a charge, you create uh, energy. And so I think we're really learning as we approach the shift in 2012 and moving on into 2013, a good skill, skill set to master and to practice is to realize uh, that this is about integration and not choosing one or the other. And when it comes to emotions, I think this is especially true because we spend so much time trying to figure out if something has made us happy, if we're happy, or if something's made us sad. Uh, and then we, we get polarized in the happy and the sad. And uh, I'll give you an example. I had one, one client who um, had a very painful breakup of a marriage of someone he adored who just took off. And he really didn't know why, and he's struggling, and, and he's very sad, very, very sad, and it's painful on the one hand. On the other hand, when he tunes into that deep connection and love that was shared, it brings him joy uh, that that's true. And, that, and one of my favorite sayings, those of you who know me, both things are true. I love it because we find in that connection and both things are true and in the integration of opposite, opposites, opportunity. So have fun with this this week and, um, and look at your polar opposites. See where you are in judgment of something that may be opposite or not what you believe and yet within it, there goes my phone, uh, you can find something wonderful. So check it out and see what you can find. Have a great time with it this week. Don't forget Egypt for 12, 12, 12. And we'll see you again in a week. Bye.